Welcome to our video on arterial compliance and blood pressure. So in this video, we are going to explore how the flexibility of our arteries affect blood pressure and subsequently affect our overall cardiovascular health. In this video, we are going to talk about the definition of arterial compliance, importance of arterial compliance, factors affecting arterial compliance, and how arterial compliance affects blood pressure. First, what is arterial compliance? Arterial compliance refers to the ability of the arteries to expand and recoil as blood is pumped into them. When the arteries have more blood, the artery expands. When the arteries have less blood, the arteries recoil or contract. That is similar in some way to the rubber band, which is easily stretchable, easily expand and recoil. Arterial compliance is important because when the arteries are compliant, the pressure in the circulation becomes adequate pressure, not too high, not too low, and that will make sure that we have sufficient blood flow to different tissues and organs. And when we have an adequate pressure, that will also maintain low stress or strain on our heart. There are many factors which affect arterial compliance, like for example, age, so when we grow older, the loss of elastic fibers from the arterial wall makes the arteries less compliant. Other factors include lifestyle, diet, pathological conditions, for example, atherosclerosis or hypertension. Atherosclerosis and hypertension make the artery less compliant. So when arteries become less compliant, blood pressure increase. So systolic pressure increase because the arteries are unable to expand. So the systolic will increase. Diastolic pressure at the beginning decrease then later on increase because of the increase in peripheral resistance. The difference between systolic and diastolic pressure increase, which is known as pulse pressure. So systolic, diastolic, and pulse pressure, all of them increase. The increase in blood pressure means the heart will face high resistance while it contracts. So this strain or stress on the heart may eventually lead to heart failure. In conclusion, understanding of arterial compliance and factors affecting arterial compliance help us to understand the variation in blood pressure in physiological and pathological conditions. Physiological conditions like, for example, age, and also pathological conditions like, for example, atherosclerosis.